understand. You're just a petty thug, a lackey. What made you do it? Do what? Become a criminal. Because, Tracy, crime pays! Crime doesn't pay. It's high time you goons learn that. Sooner or later, the long arm of the law is gonna catch up to you. It always does. It doesn't matter whether it's day or night. Justice never tires, it never sleeps, and it'll never back down. One day a paddy wagon's gonna come for you. I'm gonna come for you. But if you untie me now, I may tell the DA to cut you some slack. The boss said he'd say something like that. He said you were a wise guy and not to listen to your cockamamie shenanigans. Not to mention, if I listen to you, boss will kill me. I'll find myself with cement shoes in the bottom of some lake somewhere, sleeping with the fishies. So shut up! Who put you up to this? Was it Flat Top? Prune Face? Crime Incorporated? Don't you worry about it, Tracy. You'll find out soon enough. Actually, here comes the boss now. Knuckles Nelson! Hello, Deke. Go get the bomb. Surprise, Dick! Surprise that I'm alive! Because I'm surprised that I'm alive! It's not every day that Dick Tracy throws you into Southside Habit. Into freezing wood! And leaves you for dirt! Look, I didn't leave you for dead. That's not true. Knuckles, I jumped in the water after you. But you were gone by the time I got down there. Your lives are gonna cost you, Tracy. In a matter of minutes, this whole place is gonna be history. It's gonna be blown to smithereens with you inside. <laughs> oh yeah, Dick. And your little secretary, Miss Appleby, is coming with me. I'd hate to let such a pretty thing be destroyed. You better not lay a finger on her. You're in no position to make demands, Dick. But it's time for me to say goodbye. I hate to leave you for dead, but it's the least I could do to return the favor. <laughs> Set up the bomb. See you, bye, Dick. Tracy, soon you'll be the one pushing me. <laughs> I've had about enough of you. <laughs> 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 Knuckles. Commissioner, come in. What is it, Dick? This is the commissioner. We need you back here at the station pronto. All right, I'll round up some of the boys and be on our way back. All right, thanks, Commissioner. This is cruel and unusual. You just can't lock me up in a dark room like this. I've got rights, you know. I've got rights, you know. Did you hear me, copper? I get to make a phone call. That's the law. I am the law. You're lucky you didn't arm that bomb, slime ball, or you'd be in here for the rest of your life. Now I've got a question, and you're going to give me an answer. Where's my secretary? How should I know? I didn't take her. Well, your boss did. Where is she? I'm just a hired thug. He didn't tell me nothing. I don't believe that. Well, you should, Dick, because it's the truth. It better be, because if I found out you lied to me, you're done for. Book him, boys. How can I be so stupid? 
I just walked right in the police station and took her. How you doing, Dick? I think I am, Commissioner. Knuckles and his cronies just came in here and ransacked the station. You just let them walk right in. I didn't let them walk right in. Most of the boys and I were crossed in at the wharf. We got an anonymous tip that Lockjaw was there. We thought we could go get the jump on him. <laughs> well, they got the jump on me. It's probably Knuckles that gave you the tip in the first place. There's no honor among thieves. Well, seems like there's been a heck of a time around here since you put that bomb on your desk. Yeah, tell me about it. Did you have a look down at the wharf? It was one heck of a shootout, but no lockjaw. Well, they took Miss Appleby. They took Miss Appleby? Yeah, I don't have any leads. If, if you can come up with anything, let me know. I'll get that out to all the precincts. Thanks. Dealt with prune face. Dealt with flat top. Dealt with little face. I can't deal with Knuckles Nelson. The Chicago Police Department proudly presents a word of commendation to Big Tracy. October 4th, 1931, signed John Brandon Police Chief and Chester Gold Police Commissioner. Whatever happened to that Dick Tracy? Whatever happened to the Dick Tracy that didn't let the citizens of Chicago live in fear of criminals? <sighs> Come in. Candy Masters. What brings you here? Dick Tracy. It's good to see you, big boy. It's good to see you too, Candy, but I don't have time for this. Why not? My secretary, Miss Appleby's missing. Oh, really? That's interesting. Yeah, you don't know anything about it, do you? I don't know where she is, but I know where I am, and I know where you are. Candy. Tracy, why do you never make time for me? I'm a busy man. Too busy for Candy? Most of the time. What about the rest of the time? Well, I'm with my girlfriend, Tess Trueheart, or I'm locking up your friends. My friends? Yeah, the local scoundrels. Well, I do like scoundrels, but I also like nice men. Nice men? Yeah, like you. Well, how about you be a nice girl and tell me where Knuckles Nelson took my secretary? I don't know. Are you sure? Eastside Warehouse. That's where they've got her. See, I know you can be a nice girl. You didn't have anything to do with the kidnapping, did you? Yes, but not much. I'll deal with you later, Miss Masters. <laughs> Commissioner, come in. Commissioner, if you can hear me, I need you at the East Side Warehouse. That's where they got Miss Appleby. You see what's being on the good side's got you? It's got you tied up in the warehouse. <laughs> Better luck next time, Brody. <laughs> I thought I'd seen you for the last time. 
Christmas is coming this year, boys. Go get him. Go get him. Tracy. Oh, Chester Gold, am I glad to see you? Uh, Knuckles took this out of me. I've got to go. Clean this mess up. Thanks. <laughs> 